Thelonious' parents rushed him to the hospital, and within hours, they learned he had an extreme case of Stevens-Johnson syndrome called toxic epidermal necrolysis. His experience with an angel, Jesus, or God is different because of the clarity he had and the way the experience seemed to signify the end of his hardest days. But does it provide any proof that heaven is for real? After a while, I saw this man standing in the corner of the room in a white robe and had a beard. He had white skin, a brown beard, brown hair, and he smiled at me and then it was like I was back in my body. I thought it was really strange, but after that, it was just kept getting better and better after that point. Do you think that that was God or that that was an angel? That's what I believe. In his darkest day, he saw a light. The appearance of something seemingly sent to him from heaven. It just kept getting better from that point. It wouldn't go like better and then worse and better and then worse again. It would just get better after that. Thelonious has trouble holding his head up because of muscle weakness and he's sensitive to the light. He's legally blind. Scars on his legs mark the places Stevens Johnson syndrome almost claimed his life. And it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and it was literally right before our eyes you could see the uh, the blisters spreading you could you could look at like him growing it was growing one second and then look back again and it, it had moved it was more and more and more it took four months for Thelonious to recover and come back to the Gulf Coast that's when I first heard his remarkable story and it got me thinking after understanding all I could about Stevens Johnson syndrome, I wanted to speak with an expert so I could better understand the experience Thelonious described when he almost watched himself die. It's an empirical uh, evidence that reaffirms what uh, we've always believed in faith about being human, that there's a, a deep spiritual dimension. and that we live, the Bible says, not by bread alone, that, that we also have this spiritual dimension uh, in which we are made for uh, the presence of God. And God's presence sometimes enters into our awareness in surprising ways. Not the first experience described to Father Viscardi. I asked if he truly believed this young man was visited by Christ. Well, who knows? I mean, God, God is not just an, another little UFO. Uh, it, God is present in all things at all times. So, yeah, I truly believe God is with me right now. Thelonious parents now want to spread the word about Stevens Johnson syndrome because it can happen, and it is devastating, in hopes much like the teachings of Christ, by spreading the word, more people will believe in healing powers and seek out a way to fight this evil. In Mobile, Alabama, I'm Haley Minogue.